Hey guys, what is up? Kevin here. So right now, I just want to talk to you, as you can tell, about my new camera. The camera I got is the Panasonic HC-V100. I believe this camera was, I think, about $230-ish, $220-ish. Um, so yeah, got a couple things with it, and then I'll go in-depth on the actual camera. And as you can tell, quality's way better. Really happy for that. Um, first thing, this carrying case. So let's go into depth with this. This carrying case was made by Lower Pro. It comes with three external pockets. Left, right, and middle. Next, in the inside, it comes with a compartment to house the camera. Then has two upper compartments inside of the case. The case has a extremely sturdy padded carrying handle. It comes also with the strap if that's your preference. This case is extremely, extremely padded. Very nice. And uh, honestly, I would recommend this to anybody. I believe this camera, or this case for a camera, is being sold for around $40. Alrighty, guys, next thing we're going to be looking at is the tripod. Before we go into the tripod, um, I just want to show you the case that it comes in. Um, I don't actually know how tall this case is, I believe it's about 3 three ish feet. The tripod itself, let me just give you some specs, it can become 5 feet tall. It has two separate legs that you can extend one leg without, so it's like this, you can extend one, and you can extend the other if you want. Um, also, before we show it, I'm going to go in depth on this little piece. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty neat. So yeah guys, let's get into that. The piece that helps connect the camera to the tripod uses two small little pieces of metal to connect the camera. The first one is in fact threaded, the one on the right. The one on the left is just used to stabilize the camera. Now, what you do is, is you take the piece, you open it up like this, and then it connects to the threaded piece also that's underneath the camera. You then screw it on, and then you're able to connect it to the tripod. So now let's go on to the tripod. The tripod can range from 3 feet to 5 feet. It is made by Dynex. It is made of metal. And as I said, it has two different legs that is part of one. As you can see, the first one can be locked in place with this. As you can see, it's starting to fall. That is how it's locked. Either there, there, and there. Now, the piece I showed you earlier for how it works. So, let's say the camera is on it. What you do, and take it, put it on, and this piece right here, that, then it goes in. Nice and awesome. Piece here, then fully rotate in a 360 degree. Perfect. It then has a level, as you can see there. Overall, I believe that this is a great tripod for the cost. It costs around $15. Overall guys, I think that I would give the carrying case made by Lower Pro, odd name, I would give this out of five a four and a half. Awesome. On to the tripod. 
I would most likely give the tripod out of 10, I would give it a 8 by Dynex. Uh, carrying case, about $35. Tripod, about 15 On to the specs of the Panasonic BC. Panasonic V100. Alrighty, so as you guys can tell, really great quality compared to the GoPro that I've been using in the past. Uh, now I'm going to go put it through a couple of um, light tests, zooming, etc. I'm going to show you how well it can zoom and some of its flaws that I actually haven't noticed any, but let's see if we can find any, guys. Alrighty, let's do this. Guys, first thing we're going to be testing is the zoom quality. This thing can go to a 42 times zoom, so let's see how good it can go. This is a geometry textbook that I have. Let's see how good it can go. You're now at 2, 3, 8. You're now at 16. As you can tell, extremely visible, easy to see, beautiful. Let's zoom out. Okay, next, let's go into the actual graphic itself. It supposedly can go into 10 dp See how quickly it can autofocus. So very easily, fonts very good. Good. See, just to show you, that is 42 times zoom. It's so zoomed in that it's actually blurry. Step away from that. Next, we're gonna do light. Let's go to that, guys. So this is just full spectrum. Me of my room. Now, this is with both lights on. My first light. My second light. Okay. So this is obvious brightness. Pretty simple. Extremely good. Now, let's see what happens when I turn off the brighter of the two. See how it works. Tell guys it's gone a lot darker. Now we only have this one light on. So as you can still see though, it is still fairly good quality from what I can tell. So now let's see what happens when I turn off both lights. Guys, as you can tell, I have no lights on in my room and you can hardly see anything. So what I've done is I just thought about Let's take the brightness of my phone, go to my flashlight, turn it down to its lowest setting. So, pretty dark if I can't tell myself. So, that is the lighting test. Alright guys, now that we've gone through all the visual tests that I could have shown you, which was zoom quality, um, lighting quality. Last but not least, I'm just going to give a couple of specs. The Panasonic HC V100 is a 1080p camera that comes with internally 16 gigabytes. Out of 10, um, based on lighting, I would probably give this camera a 10. Um, I have not been able to find any flaws with the camera right now but it is extremely advanced and honestly I think this is a extremely good camera for anybody that's a beginner or intermediate. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not good that good with cameras because I'm not. Um, zoom wise I would probably give this camera an 8 and speaking of flaws I would say that once you get to 42 zoom I haven't really been able to find anything that far away that I can zoom. But it's extremely blurry and you can hardly tell what it is um, yeah would I buy this camera again yes overall I give this camera I'd say about a nine or an eight and a half I haven't actually done any high-speed filming like this but um, from what I can tell it's an extremely good camera I hope you guys enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe it really helps me out please pass this video around I'll be doing reviews of the newest stuff I'm getting I will be getting 
a helmet, a new helmet, um, new goggles, uh, just a small smog. I'll be getting um, two patches and gloves extremely soon. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Kevin, and as always, have a nice day. Peace.